Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. This video has been requested by one of you YouTube subscribers. Thank you very much for the challenge. So, the request was, I'm sick of Wargaming, I'm sick of Microsoft Windows. What are my options? Well, option number one, <laughs> you're not going to like it, is stop playing World of Warships and stop using Microsoft Windows. Go out, get a new hobby, go and enjoy life. Because uh, life is all too fleeting and all too short. Assuming that that's not going to be accept acceptable to you, well, you've got option number two. An option number two is replace Wargaming's World of Warships with Mir Karabli's World of Ships, which is exactly the same game, but it's the original Russian developers. So, as you can see here, it's running absolutely beautiful. We've got the full English language pack installed. So, everything's in English rather than Russian. Some of the things do remain in uh, Russian. Um, it doesn't completely wipe all of the Russian out. So, uh, you know, you either need a little bit of Google Translate in your life or mm, you need to bungle your way through it. As you can see, this is all in Russian. So it does not completely remove all Russian and make it 100% English. But it certainly makes enough of it English for you to be able to uh, figure out and deal with. Okay, so that's replaced Wargaming's World of Warships with Mir Karabli's World of Ships. What about the Sick of Windows part? Well, <clears throat> I've actually gone, which is shock and horror, for Cache OS. Um, the main reason I went for Cache OS is because it's built from the ground up out of the box with gaming in mind. And you could do a hell of a lot worse than Cache OS. So I've done a full install on my main gaming PC on two separate SSDs. So my Microsoft Windows is 100% safe. The main SSD, both of them are little 120 gigabyte SSDs. The first one's ButterFS. The second one's EXT4. <clears throat> and the reason I've put two SSDs in is I wanted not only Mir Karabli, but I also wanted SWOTOR and Farming Simulator 17 installed. Um, and that's really what I was after, and to test all three. Now, the other thing I've done is I've used... I've bought the clients, downloaded them outside of Steam, so bought the native clients down, and then used Steam's Proton to install them. If any of you don't know how to do that and you need a video doing on it, just let me know and I'll do a video. But Cache OS out of the box has full support for your NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. So that was another major reason I went for Cache OS. Plus the fact it's built and based off of Arch Linux. So it's super, super fast. It is to a degree... Um, protected by Cache OS so that it's not a raw Arch Linux and all the issues that that can bring down with it. Nevertheless, if you're sick of Wargaming, you're sick of Windows and you want to replace the pair, there you go. That's exactly how you do it. So you download and install, set up Mir Karabli, is your World of Warships, download and install, set up Cache OS. Now, just a final caveat, do not make the mistake that I made. So, if you're going to install Cache OS and it's your first time, for sure go with the KDE Plasma. Out the box, it's got all the bells and whistles, it's beautifully themed, everything's all installed. I went for XFCE, because I love XFCE, but you literally get a bare basic vanilla XFCE with nothing else installed and nothing else set up which 
could be a little bit daunting and confusing for newer users. So if you do go for Cache OS, please, please go for the KDE Plasma unless you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up if you loved it. Down if you hated it. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.